I'm going to give you a short instructional video on how to use the Philips Epic 5G. First, you need to know where the power button is. To turn it on, if it's turned off when you get to the machine, you hit this button. Once the machine is on, if you need to t turn the machine off to take it for portable, you would just hit this machine to turn it off. That way, it'll be a fast reboot once you get up to the patient's room. Looking down here is where the transducers are plugged in. There's four ports, three are filled right now. To change a transducer, you simply flip this switch that way and it comes out. To put a transducer back in, flip the switch and it is secured. Right now, this machine has the brake on. If this is brought up halfway, all wheels will rotate. If it is brought up all the way, then these wheels right here will lock in place. And that's the easiest way to push it down the hall. When it is in the brake position, then you can use this switch right here on the handlebar, you compress it once, and you can move this all around. Bring it back up, and then hit it again to lock it in place. When imaging on this machine, this row of buttons do a number of different functions. And what it will do is indicated on this screen up here. And see here, this button has no use right now because there is nothing on this screen. Same thing here. This button is used for the dynamic range. You can turn it and you can see the dynamic range change. When you're imaging and you want to freeze, you hit this button and hit it again to unfreeze. Once you have frozen it, if you would like to annotate on your image, you hit this button here. And then you will have a number of selections on what to hit, depending on what protocol you're using. Move the machine to get that light out of the way there. There we go. You can just select whichever ones you want they'll be replaced unless you select this and then the text will not be replaced. This is best to keep this on so that when you go from right to left, it will automatically replace itself when you hit. Once you have your image ready to store, you can hit this button, which I prefer, or this button. Both will work both ways. This button is also used to save a real-time cine clip, which can be adjusted right here. You select that time. Instead of having it just at a short three-second clip, you can increase it to a number of minutes if you like. And then once you come here and you hit this button, it will record the cine clip until you hit freeze. And once you hit freeze, then the clip is stored automatically. You don't have to do anything else.